Good evening, and uh, yes, this is uh, George, and it is an electronics channel. We're not looking at the Metro because uh, we like the new Chelsea Football Club kit. Um, today, uh, I'm going to try out making PCBs with the uh, the yellow paper uh, that you get from China, um, the yellow heat toner transfer paper. So, um, what have I done so far? Well, I've cut a bit of PCB and I've also printed a, a little circuit onto, uh, onto a piece of this uh, paper. Um, I must say I wasn't impressed with the paper because it all came, um, instead of being flat, it came rolled up um, with lots of creases. So it was uh, a real pain to get through the laser printer. So, um, start off, um, as I say, I've got a piece of printed circuit board and it's uh, about the right size. Um, basically, I, I designed this, uh, I used Eagle. Um, it's about the only one I could find that uh, did what I wanted, um, for free anyway. And reverse the image so that it's ready to go that way down on the board. But first, before we can do that, uh, let's move that out of the way. I'm just going to uh, clean up the board and make sure it is perfectly clean. And uh, let's just uh, pick that up without using my fingers. Go right to the edges. Now it always works better if you if you sand uh, the boards for some reason. I suppose it gives the uh, the toner something to uh, key into. So this is just a Poundland uh, works. I think it's Poundland is works or is it Aldi something like that. Um, so yeah, so we we've just taken the edge off of that and then. Uh, to make sure that it is clean, um, I'm just going to get a, a bit of uh, kitchen roll and uh, isopropyl alcohol and just uh, make sure there's no grease left on the on the board at all. And uh, there we go. So let's move that out of the way and uh, we'll get set up for the next stage. we have one clean PCB. Right, we'll just get set up for the next stage. Right, okay, so now uh, we're uh, at the next stage. As you see, the, uh, the bit of board is uh, on top of the uh, block of wood. And uh, the design is gonna go face down on top of the uh, on top of the bit of circuit board. Let me just uh, sort of make it central so that it looks half decent. And then I've got the iron on its way. We're just waiting for it to uh, warm up. It's it's as hot as it will go without being on um, without being on steam. Just wait for the heat to build up. There we go. And I'm just going to. Uh, Start from the middle and push down and put as much heat as I can into into this board and onto this piece of paper. Um, I understand that uh, normally it's sort of four to five minutes of uh, ironing. Um, which is actually quite a bit shorter. I used to, I have used this stuff before, which is the blue um, heat transfer type paper, where you print on the the non shiny side and you iron the uh, you iron the shiny side. Um, but that takes a little bit more heat, I found, uh, and a little bit longer to get used to. So I'm just going to keep pressing like this and. Uh, be about four or five minutes is what they say to do and I'm just gonna 
make sure that the heat is evenly distributed right across the uh, across the circuit board. So then we just uh, take that, we drop that in the water, I move the iron out the way. We'll get rid of the piece of wood while we're at it. And then what we do is we uh, apparently you just peel off one corner until the whole lot comes away. So let's have a go. coming off quite nicely. It's leaving a little bit of residue around the edge but that's not a problem. Let's just uh, see how well the rest of this comes off. That's, it's uh, not quite done. There we go. Alright, let's just get a, a bit of kitchen roll again and uh, wipe that off. Let's keep the water there because we'll need that as part of the next stage. So we'll dry that off and let's have a look. That's come out fairly good actually. Um, quite a nice print. The, uh, the fine detail is all there. This wider track seems to have suffered a little bit, so um, just going to get a regular sharpie and uh, colour that in. Obviously, if you've got a lot of missing pieces, it would actually be easier to. Uh, strip the board and start again. Just basically sand it off again and uh, print it again. But um, for that it, it, it doesn't seem worth it. So uh, there we go. That's uh, the board ready. So now for the next stage we need the, uh, the rubber gloves. Um, let's just uh, put these on because now we're going to be dealing with, uh, well, basically ferric chloride. One, it's it's yeah, sort of cheap and cheerful. It's about my favourite etchant for PCBs. Been using it for, for donkey's years. Let's just uh, stir it up. Just to make sure. Yeah. Oh, splash. See, that's why uh, I put the newspaper down. And we just drop that into there and submerge it then what I'm going to do is I'm just going to keep agitating the board so while I'm doing that and I, I've still got clean fingers um, I shall uh, pause the camera and uh, see you back in a short while Check now, yep, that looks like it's pretty well done, so I'll uh, just uh, rub over the last remaining bits to make sure, just to make sure that it's all done. Yeah, where that, uh, that edging has been, there's still a bit of a line, but uh, the rest of the board has uh, come out quite nicely. All you've got to do then is uh, drop it in the water, take it out and dry it off. It's, it's just a bit of kitchen roll and there we go. Well, um, 
the certainly the tracks have come out nice and clear um, the fine lines have uh, certainly come out uh, very very well um, no complaints about that at all um, you, can, you can see the repair that I did on the, the track um, just to cover it up there and there's a couple of bits of thicker copper in the middle of the board there but uh, yep yeah, we'll be ready for the next step uh, we'll dry this one off uh, and move everything out the way and then we'll be ready for the uh, the final step prior to drilling these boards out so see you shortly all I need to do now is uh, get some acetone or nail varnish remover depending on what you know it as and uh, literally just wash off that toner um, the way I'm going to get rid of the the copper at the edge is literally just to uh, scrape it um, although saying that it's it's not hurting anybody is it? oh it's quite a thick layer isn't it it's it's like a it's like another track in itself that's actually quite impressive that, uh, that the glue on the edge is uh, stayed there obviously um, you would normally cut the board to that size if that's where you were going but I've left it slightly larger so I could put some mounting holes in there um, so yes I think I may well just uh, have to uh, see how oh, it does it's not too bad a, a layer so it will peel off just need a bit of uh, a bit of work um, ah, it's not critical but um, yeah obviously if you I think the thing I'm gonna have to do in future is obviously make sure that the the piece of paper is larger than the edge of the board so that you don't get that stuck in line so yep I've learned something uh, today that um, these boards can be easily made using this uh, Chinese paper um, but you'd have to order enough of it to get it as a flat ream um, not as a, a rolled up sort of tube of paper um, because it, it just doesn't feed through the laser printer properly and also to make sure that the uh, the actual circuitry or uh, the actual piece of paper is bigger than the piece of uh, copper board that you're going to put it on so that um, you don't get that uh, that copper edge um, obviously uh, this is a very thin piece of uh, uh, PCB it's, it's, it's one of the thinnest pieces you can get um, which is why I was just messing around with this rather than uh, using a, a top grade piece of FR4 and you know three mil thick or two and a half mil thick and um, going for the top end stuff for this uh, this little experiment I think it's come out okay um, all I've got to do now is um, drill it and populate it uh, so uh, yeah maybe I'll do that as another video but for now uh, I'm gonna say uh, thank you very much for watching and um, hopefully we've both learned something thanks very much bye bye